This is a video I've been waiting to do for quite some time. Um, this is a Yale 16 strand XTC Spearmint half inch, uh, rated at 6,200 pounds. It's been sitting up in a Douglas fir tree for over 10 years. Uh, when my daughter was born, I put it up and uh, made a tire swing out of it. The decal on the inside says manufactured 2006. I used it for a year and then retired it. Um, hence, uh, this is a pretty old rope, 16 years, so it's going to be interesting to see where it breaks. Uh, not a lot of like wear areas on the rope, more of like uh, an erosion type uh, issue with this rope. A lot of algae, a lot of moss, and uh, it looks really old and the uh, coloring has come almost completely out of it. Uh, I'll do a comparison of a brand new and a new, just the coloring so you can get an idea. I'm pretty sure we're going to be under the 5,000 mark for breaking, but at any rate, bing bang boom. This is what the rope looks like. Uh, this is a Yale uh, 16 strand uh, half inch uh, spearmint and uh, you can see that there's a lot of algae. Um, it's been sitting in the elements for over 10 years and uh, you can see the see the core tape uh, the date of manufacture is 2006 uh, yield cordage and this is what the rope would look like brand new so you could see the color difference Alright, let's talk ropes. So I have a used length of Yale blades here and uh, we're going to talk about storage first. So where do you store rope? You store rope away from hazardous materials like fuels and oils and you keep it in a cool dark place. That way you don't have any UV uh, degradation uh, and you also want to make sure that it's away from any sharp objects. So in your truck for instance you keep it on the opposite side to where you keep your source, fuel, oil, and all that sort of stuff. Okay, next we're going to talk about inspection. When should inspection be done? Uh, inspection should be done before each climb, and the best way to encapsulate this is to do a buddy check. So if you're just about to go up into the tree, have your workmate or your buddy come by and take a look at your rope and uh, just make sure it's free of any abrasions, any nicks that might have happened with a handsaw or uh, dragging across a, uh, an abrasive surface. Uh, you want to run your hands through the entire length of the rope looking for picked strands or staining or um, inconsistencies with the rope diameter. So you want to roll the rope through your hands to make sure that the rope Bend radius is staying consistent the whole way. Uh, when you have a damaged couple of strands, uh, what you'll notice is that it won't form a nice round bend radius. There'll be a kink in it, and that'll be uh, also felt in the difference of rope diameter. That would be a point in which you would retire your rope. Also, there's been a lot of debate in terms of how many strands is how many strands damaged is no good, how many can you get away with, etc, uh, etc. Et um, I, I am personally under the opinion that if you have a change in, in rope diameter and that the, the damage is really obvious and you're second guessing yourself, your life is more, is more valuable than a piece of rope. So go ahead and replace that rope. In terms of lifespan, uh, although you'll see, you will have seen in the video, uh, a 16 year old rope that's in the tree. Uh, that rope wasn't under any other conditions other than the elements outside. There was no uh, cutting, there was no nothing like that. Um, so although it is impressive to see, uh, it doesn't negate the necessity to inspect your ropes. Um, and 
like I say, you need to inspect the entire length of it um, to ensure that it's still a serviceable.